What's up everyone and thank you for stopping by the channel. Today's project is this Husqvarna mower and the problem is that it stopped running while it was being used and now it won't start up again. Let's take a good look at it, find out what's wrong with it and hopefully we can fix it. In this video we try and repair this mower, however it may not be the exact repair that you need to make to yours. We'll explore other options later in the video. I'm not sure how you feel about Husqvarna mowers, but for the most part, I think they're pretty good mowers. However, if it's paired with a Honda engine, then I think it's an excellent mower. Unfortunately, without proper maintenance, it doesn't matter what engine's on it, at some point, it's going to stop working. Now, I found this mower free on the curb, and the previous owner said it stopped on them while mowing. They weren't able to get it started again, so they went and bought a new mower. They purchased this mower about three or four years ago, and it worked perfectly until it stopped, and from what I could tell, it was not a sudden stop, so I don't think it's broken. So that means to me that the engine either lost compression or the ignition system stopped working. If it was a carburetor problem, then I think it would have either flooded or ran out of gas, and it wouldn't have stopped the way it did. I don't think it's a gasoline problem because I already took a sample of it and it was a light yellow color which is perfect and there wasn't any water or debris at the bottom of the jar. Now before I try and start the engine I want to check the oil and see if it's at the right level. Besides if I do get it running I don't want to damage it if it happens to be low. Well it looks a little overfilled which isn't ideal but I'd rather it be overfilled than extremely low. Also, the color is kind of dark, so we definitely need to do an oil change. Unfortunately, it didn't even try and start. Also, while I was pulling the rope, I could feel that it's a little on the easy side to pull. Now, this is usually a sign that the oil hasn't been changed on a regular basis, so there's more wear on the rings. The good news is that I should still have enough compression for it to run. So the next thing I want to do is check for spark. I'm going to use a spark checker, which you can buy online for a few dollars. Just install it in line with the spark plug, pull the rope, and watch for a dim orange glow in the tester. It was a little bit hard to see, but there was a dim orange glow, so we do have spark. So that means that's not the problem we're having. The next thing I want to do is check the spark plug and see if there's a problem there. Well, I found our first problem. The spark plug is completely fouled up with carbon, and in fact, it's probably the worst one I've ever seen. Now, to give you a better view, I'll take a picture instead so you can see the amount of carbon that's on this thing. I can safely say that this is probably the reason why the engine has stopped running. Now to test this idea, I'm going to replace the plug and try starting the engine again. Now I could have tried cleaning the plug with a torch and a wire brush, but I already had the plug in my parts bin. So it started right up, which is great news, but it's not running at full speed. That brings us to the bigger question, which is why did the spark plug get fouled up with carbon? The first thing I want to check is the choke system. This engine has an automatic choke system that's supposed to be bypassed when the engine is running. Now to test this out, I'm going to remove the filter and run the engine and make sure that the choke flap opens when it's running. As you can see, the silver choke flap was open when it was running, and then when I shut off the engine, the flap did close. Now this is exactly what it's supposed to do. Now another reason why the engine would run like the choke was still on is if the filter was completely clogged. To test this out, I'm going to start the engine without the filter and see if the engine runs better, and then I'll replace it and see if it slows down. If there's any difference, I'll then replace it with a brand new filter and see if it still does it.
just saw the engine ran much better without the old filter and it ran worse when it was replaced. I then used a brand new filter and there was absolutely zero effect on it. So the old filter was the reason why the spark plug fouled up with carbon. Just running it briefly with the old filter already has the spark plug very dark with carbon. Now using a clean air filter will get rid of the rest of the carbon on the plug. Now after running the engine the oil should be pretty warm so I'm going to tip the mower over and drain out the oil. And well it was definitely due for one. Oil changes for mowers are really inexpensive so it's just cheap insurance to do them every season. Now just make sure you don't put an entire quart of oil into the engine. Some engines need as little as 16 ounces while others might need as much as 20. I'm not worried about putting the exact amount in, I just use the dipstick to tell me when I'm at the right level. Now just to show you how much dirt there was in this filter, I'm going to shake it out. Now, the worst part is that there was actually more in it because I shook some out earlier before I realized how much was actually in there. And if you thought that was all of it, well you'd be wrong. There's still more stuck in the pleats. Now the previous owner didn't do any sort of maintenance and this is the end result. Now while I'm here, I want to check out this wheel. It seems to be making some sort of noise when I push the mower around, and it looks like the plastic teeth are beginning to wear out on it. Now, I'm not going to replace it until it gets worse than this, and until then, I'm just going to lube up the axle and replace it. Then I'll do the same thing on the other front wheel. I don't have to worry about the back wheels because it looks like they installed ball bearings on them. The last thing I want to do is put some lube on the cables because it's probably never been done before. It seems to work fine so I want to make sure it doesn't have any problems in the future. After that's done I'll start the engine again just to make sure it starts and runs fine. Another reason why this mower would start and the spark plug would foul up with carbon would be that the rings are damaged and the engine is burning oil. Now this would be the case if we saw blue smoke coming out of the muffler on startup. However, there wasn't any smoke in this case. So that's not the problem here. Now keep this situation from happening again, I would suggest replacing the air filter every year along with the oil. If you don't want to change the air filter, I would suggest at least shaking it out once in a while. So my question is, how often do you replace your air filters on your lawn equipment? Once a year or just whenever there's a problem? I hate to say it, I don't change mine very often at all. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your time here. Please feel free to ask any questions and I hope to see you in my next video.